Alright guys, Supreme Kami over here. So with the three year anniversary, you know, in within the horizon and then you know all those campaign over here. So I just want to do a very last guy for you over here. Um so what I did I did a guy for like you know it's more or less like a comprehensive beginner guy for like you know just in general building stuff like a long time ago. Um and then I also did something more of like how to properly do like a melee build. So that one in terms of that view specifically, that was like a a hefty long type of video so in terms of this one what are we doing i'm gonna make one for the shot build specifically and then i'm just gonna try to make it or just trying to you know condense everything and just try to do it you know uh, maybe within like 15 to 20 minutes of you know good explanation you know how to actually get a good you know sh shooting build going on and i think that's pretty much it so um so i have kind of like a blank build over here and then we're just gonna you know go to like the, all the basics and then you know just talk about how to like what kind of part are needed for like a shooting build and what kind of applicable um you know vortex that to be talking about all right so just like how i did for the melee builds for example um in terms of for your shooting build uh, it's gonna be the same principle once again um so you would definitely need to have like a specific attribute that you want to go for for example just because of the fact that um in terms of attribute you can definitely greatly benefit from all these um attribute gears over here so let me just kind of pick one for a example so let's take a look at the p versus t typing um shot force or gear over here so in terms of this gear specifically what you can benefit so when you are running like so the the thing is you have to be running a specific attribute in order to kind of benefit from this one over here so what i need to do in terms of what for my build i need to be running specifically p attribute so in terms of you know getting a specific attribute all you need to do is just have five part of the same typing so in my case i will need to have um what is it five p type parts out of the nine parts that i need for my build so that's pretty much you know kind of kind of self-explanatory in a way so with this gear over here you guys can see that when I am, you know, let's say facing facing against tech attribute, I am doing a whopping twenty percent more to them. So, um, so that's why if you guys ask me why, like, why even bother one running attribute, like having a specific attribute, um, this is simply a kind of like a good answer for you guys over here. And then secondly, I feel like you know some portrait or like a type specific only. So if you're not running, let's say tech attribute speed attribute or even power attribute um sometimes those specific condition may not be conducive to you so that is probably two reasons i can give you guys why you guys need to be focusing and try to get like a specific attribute going on for this any build right so you can do it for p build uh, t build and s build and so it, it, it really is more or less like what kind of part you guys have in your possession before building it so as you guys do progress this onto the game for say um you can definitely build any type you want and that should you know greatly benefit to you know just your overall arsenal second thing to cover is actually going to be what are some applicable war tech that you should be focusing on and you know how many sh uh, shot based war tech are available so um in terms of counterpart to melee there was 10 and then this one in terms of shot there are also going to be 10 as well so let's kind of quickly go over them as well so the first shooting base war tech to be considering about is going to be ace exclusive i feel like in terms of ace exclusive here it's pretty much going to be your bread and butter in terms of getting a good shot attack just to be a war tech here um so namely you do want to have three active war tech here so ace exclusive is definitely going to be one slot that you are going to be fulfilling you know no matter what kind of build you're looking at uh just because in terms of shooting build most of the part does have ace exclusive attached on so this is you know probably one of the one that you would see numerous times in many part that is you know tied down to any shooting base build per se um the next one we have commander definitely a very very good one that i feel like um, a lot of you guys should be running so up next uh, we have mid range long range high fire power um heavy armor and then we have gundam type right here and then we have support type federation and then last but not least we have gem types so um these are going to be your 10 active war tech that you can activate you know um you would need three right so these are going to be all 10 that you can you know kind of pick from and then just kind of get a further shot based boosting over here but i'll let you guys know in terms of just looking at the overall roster gem type is definitely not going to be anything that you're looking at just because in terms of the part pool it is a very very niche option and i don't even think there's any specific good part in that selection so that one is outright not going to be that good 
The next one that you can kind of knock out your bucket list is actually going to be support type. Just because same thing as gym type, they're just not going to be that much supporting part for that. And it, honestly, it's just a very niche kind of work tag that just no, no, no support, you know. Um, ironically, this is support type, but there's no support for that tag. So, um, so yeah. Point number three to make is actually going to be what kind of job lessons that you want to be running in terms of a shooting build here. So in terms of a shooting build, I feel like it's just, you know, I, I, I think this one is pretty much easy to answer for you guys up here. Uh, I'll definitely say mid, uh, middle shooter, long sh uh, long shooter, and then support type. So in terms of a sh shot build specifically, I feel like these are going to be the three war tag that you, you want to be running. Uh, reason behind that in terms of, let's say, for example, we have a long range uh, pilot right here. So in terms of why are we using this here? Because if you guys take a look at the shot attack, so right now we are looking at 1534. So once we select the long shooter here, you guys can see that we are getting some boosting to the shot attack. So that is pretty much why I believe when you select the specific job license, for example, since this one is a long range, we are getting a whopping 10% added onto your shot attack. So that is why you want to be using the specific, um, you know, AI pilot that is for shooting build. So let me see if support type actually gives that as well. I believe it does too. If not, um, you still want, like, if you can, like, if you, like, obviously in terms of support type, it's definitely not the main go-to. But let me see. So shot attack on this one is a 472. So if I activate this right here, so this one actually does not. So what this one gives is actually nothing, right? Yeah, this one actually gives nothing. But in a way, if you take a look at the, you know, job, you know, what is it? The pilot gear, for example, I believe it's this one right here. Yeah. So this one actually gives a decent decent size of shot attack up here. I believe it's up to 2000 when you have the four star version. So honestly, that's why I kind of classify this as kind of like a shooting base, you know, kind of esque pilot over here. But obviously you can kind of throw this onto your melee build as well um, if you know how to work around it. But I'm just going to say strictly to you guys right now, in terms of support type, I would definitely give that to the shooting build specifically. This is because in terms of, you know, having the support type job license, there's actually some kind of like a, you know, there's definitely some other things you can kind of do with that. Um, I think I'll actually save that for like a separate video just not to confuse you guys in this one over here. So uh, in terms of selecting what kind of pilot to use, definitely try to pick something that is going to be revolving around, let's say, middle shooter, long shooter, and then support type, and then I feel like you guys should be pretty much set to go at that point. Okay, so point number four is actually going to be talking about some portrait languages with you guys over here. Um, so, you know, mainly I want to get you guys familiar with this, what kind of good portrait that are out there. Um, I know that in terms of the actual languages, there's like, you know, a good abundance of them over here. So I'm just going to quickly go down the list of like what I feel like are some good word tech that you guys should be focusing on. And then as you guys are just kind of building like whatever part you guys have in your possession, um, trying to focus on those. And then I think you guys will definitely be making a very good build up your own by yourself. First portrait to go over is going to be the shooting power boosted by 25%. So these are going to be some of the language that you guys will be seeing numerous times when you guys are building your shot based build. Uh, this one specifically is going to work against only your shooting base only. If you talk about, oh, is this going to apply to your melee build? No, it's not because this one simply state shooting power only. So this one is going to applicable to your normal shooting attacks your special shot attacks, your shot base EX skill. So those are going to be some things that it's going to be able to get that benefit of 25% boosting right there. So that is going to be one portrait to be focusing on. Next, uh, we have something called the EX skill power boosting here. So this is, uh, I, I, will, I will call this one like a universal boosting here, just because in terms of the language EX skill here, it is not going to be limited to only shooting build. This one is also going to apply to your melee build as well. So in terms of your overall build for say, you will definitely run across, you know, having these types of support trait in a mixture of shooting, you know, shooting power boosting and EX skill power boosting. So this is also going to be another one that you guys should be familiar, you know, kind of get used to it as well. Up next, uh, we have a portrait called the initial EX skill charge boosted by 25%. So essentially, when you do have this active war tag for say, um, in terms of whenever you see EX skill, there's always going to be that first timer, like first time usage timer right there. So sometimes it says, you know, after six seconds of elapsed, then you can kind of use it. Sometimes they're up to 30 seconds, then you can use it. So if you guys run these kind of portrait here, uh, it is going to pretty much 
just going to reduce the timer that is needed for you to use it for the first time so that's why it is always going to be good to at least run like one or two of these part rate um, sometimes in terms of this one for example we are looking at 25 percent so i say 25 if you have something that is maxed out at 25 percent for the initial ex2 charge i think you're pretty much solid but if not, I would feel like, it, like because sometimes they max out at only 20%. If that is the case, I'll definitely say run at least one or two to just kind of supplement enough percentage for you to just kind of activate some custom EX skill. But honestly, if you're looking at a range of 25 or 20 to 25, you guys are in a pretty good spot to just pretty much you know, execute any EX skill within any of, any of the given, let's say, first time kind of second or whatever time they're looking at um but i would definitely say they are some very niche option you know niche situation where the first time usage usage is like at least like 40 seconds or even like you know i think the most infamous one is actually going to be the actual drop what is it the new xeon melee weapon but that one if you just have any of these initial charge up to 25 percent you can pretty much get that um up and going within like at launch anyways so that's why it is very important to have these in your back pocket as well okay so up next uh, we have something called the bump ex skill effects up by x amount percentage here so these i i would definitely say i am a huge fan of these kind of parts right? just because they are live to hit so much harder when you guys are using ex skill that comes with building buffs uh because how this actually works uh, if you take a look at any of your custom ex skill or any of your cinematic ex skill or just anything that provide like additional effects for example like let's say shooting attacks boost support or shooting power up by 49%, 39%, or etc. So in terms of those, once you activate those EX skill for say, they allow you to gain some additional attacks. Uh, when you have these parts right here, they not only allow you to hit harder, but they're basically just um, adding that 15%, for example, to whatever the EX skill effects is looking at. And then you have, if you have a few of these stacked up, for example, you are going to allow your, to, your build to just hit massively harder, <laughs> in a sense. Uh, but I would definitely say to hit harder, you would definitely have to activate more buffs to just kind of be uh, benefit this over here so in terms of our ex skill per se we have up to three ex skill so if you do the quick math for example let's say you have up to a hundred percent buff ex skill effects and then per every ex skill you activate you gain an additional 39 percent shot attack per se um and then once you activate those um buffer for example you're getting up to a hundred and thirty nine percent to, to to your overall build so that's why in terms of these portrait i'll definitely say they are the most imp important if you care about doing the most damage for example um, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely say these are like a you know a, a cheesy way to just get um good uh, good output going on so um these are definitely something that you want to be paid attention to as well when you guys are building your parts or just building overall shot building point number five is to talk about the two best part in, within a shooting build that carries the high shot attack here so the first part is going to be actually the head part here so um don't ask me why they selected the head part to have the shot high shot attack here or one of the high shot attack um i don't know the answer to that but um in terms of building aspect to it um you guys can see that you, you see parts that is like 14,000. kind of keep that in mind this is a seven star part but um if you go over to something let's say the torso section um you wouldn't see something that's high so even the arm part like nope <laughs> like pretty much you see something that's half the shot attack amount so um, I don't know why they picked the head part to have one of the more higher shot attack base for there, but um, that's that. So up next, uh, we can talk about the range weapon here. So this is going to be something that is similar to the head section. Um, this one just pretty much, you know, provide a lot of good shot attack here. So you guys can see something along the line of 16,000. Uh, 14,000, 13,000. So you guys pretty much get the overall picture. So head part and then the range uh, weapon three are gonna be the two parts or two places that's pretty much gonna carry the highest shot attack for your build. Point number six is actually just gonna talk about building aspect now. So um, pretty much cover everything that you need to know in terms of, you know, building a part. So if I'm, you know, for example, I'm just going to be building the build for you, with you guys over here. Um, I think the first thing to consider about is going to select the uh, applicable word tag that we should be kind of focusing on. Uh, we're going to do Ace Susa. Pretty much what I'm going to do, I'm just going to filter everything. So I think this is pretty much a good practice for you guys as well in terms of when you guys are doing it. So I'm just pretty much going to filtering out all these, you know, applicable word tag for it should be. So Commander, mid range, long range, high firepower, heavy armor, Gundam type, 
um, support type and then last but not least we have the gym type so this is pretty much something that i will do if i'm doing like building this myself per se so we can kind of see some good war test rated like ex2 power boosting definitely something that you can use but uh, on top of that, let's actually move to something that has the sh highest shot attack. Shall we do that? Um, kind of keep that in mind. I am going to be using some of my stronger part here. So if you guys don't have some of the stronger part, for example, uh, don't be discouraged because uh, what we are looking for mainly is the fact that, um, like simply, if you guys don't even have those part or you guys only have those, you know, four star parts, for example, I would definitely say within those part, you guys will definitely see some good parts here as well like uh, do we have anything that's good for like a good representation here i don't think so right do we have anything down here um let's say we're looking at some of the older part here like you know the tech attribute can probably probably something not too good nowadays but you guys can see that this one does have some pretty good you know portraits so uh maybe if, if this is all you have for example go use it because it does have a pretty good you know portrait so you can definitely benefit greatly from it when you're using it so um, i don't know if there's something else that i can probably show you guys in a way um but i i guess that's pretty much the principle um so pretty much filter everything within your box that has the high shot attack in a way and then just work around the um those four portraits that i show you guys um definitely focus up on those types of specific languages and then you guys should be able to build a good foundation build overall so uh, in terms of what we're going to be doing i'm just going to be building upon a tag attribute build so um so what i need to do i will actually need to find myself five tag attribute parts and then that should allow me to conclude having the attribute uh, attribute word tags um, that attribute activated and then we can work on getting some active word tag going on and then potentially talk about skin um, later on that i feel like skin is probably a very important topic that I will need to address as well. So let's see. So I'm actually going to be doing Maxo as well. So what we see up here, I will actually be using the over here. Um, this one, um, the reason I'm using this one instead because uh, this one actually does have some link attribute. So in terms of link attribute, I don't want to go too much in detail of this one here. Um, I do have a video talk about this one uh, separately. Um, but in terms of link attribute, I'm pretty sure these are something that you guys, in terms of these terms, something that you guys should be very familiar with. Just because in terms of the game scheduling that we have, um, you probably heard anywhere within the community community that people say, oh, this one is probably good for link attribute because this one is like a recycled unit. So, um, so I'm pretty sure you guys are well familiar with. So in terms of, you know, link attribute, you are essentially getting an additional, um, you know, just boosting by having the, um, the same identical part, but in a different attribute. So you guys can just click on here and then you guys can see that. Uh, because this one does have an alternative attribute, so that's why we are able to get an all power boost by 6%. So, um, this is as as far as I'm gonna go to because I don't want to like, um, I gotta do like a sidetrack for you guys over here, but um, essentially, um, having these part is gonna be a lot more better. And kind of keep that in mind, they do have to be in the actual main slot, so sub slot are not gonna be able to benefit that. And then, um, I, I guess the other part to cover is uh, because this part is a big scale. Um, so if you guys do not know, we have part that are 1 to 144 scale, and then we have part that are 1 to 100 scale. So simply, people just refer them to the big scale. Um, I think the most important, the most important part to take away here is the fact that um, when you guys are doing subsiding, so hopefully you guys do know this aspect or this much in a way, um, something that I have covered it in the very beginning guide anyway. So um, in terms of, you know, pairing something with big scale, for example, you guys can see that you are getting a scale differences over here. So that's why it is very important if you guys can do like a 1 to 144 scale plus a big scale. So that will immensely boost what kind of parameter you guys are looking at. Um, if I, let's say, subsot to a big scale to a big scale, um, I think I might have an example here, but you guys would definitely see that if you're subsiding a big scale to a big scale, you're not getting that scale difference because uh, there's no scale difference, you know, uh, big scale plus big scale does not mean um, scale differences. So that only works when you're doing 1 to 1 for a scale plus a big scale or uh, 1 to 100 plus a uh, 1 to 144 scale. So, um, so this part, I can do something like this here. So that is essentially what I do because uh, this one's a big scale and then this one's a normal scale. Um, you can also do the inverse as well. So it doesn't really matter in, in a sense. So you can do the normal scaling and then go ahead to sub slot 
a part that is uh, essentially big scale so it doesn't really matter which way you go about that but i'm only doing the inverse order because the o does have an alternative attribute so essentially i am getting a invincible six percent boosting when i'm in the actual match for example so that's probably the mindset to be going about so let me just do this over here and then i'll be continuing along the line of like just talking about the overall why i'm doing what i'm doing so so this part is done and then we can just kind of do pick the good war tech here so this one is a very good war tech to be looking at so this is something that i show you so you guys early on so we got something of the language shooting power boosting and then ex scale ex skill power boosting so that's why they are going to be a very good pairing right here so uh, up next uh, let's do talk about some torso section now so um, let me actually just do by my current values so um, let's actually pick something that has tech attribute i think we do need something of that caliber so all right so we are going to be looking for something you know the, uh, the quibbly so this one is good so in terms of the portrait language for the quibbly it's actually not going to be the best so i'm actually not going to be using this one um, in terms of the portrait so i'll actually be finding something that's better um, this one is simply um, enemy all power reduce a language here so um i don't want to use this kind of portrait because the fact that it's not going to benefit me that much unless i'm building something that's revolving around um significantly reduce my enemy power um because it's not a build that i want to build uh, what i'm building today is just more or less like a you know a proper power build uh, shooting build here so um in terms of the portrait or the sub slot i will use something of this caliber um let's say the what is it this one is going to be the um hakashiki kai so this one is a very good portrait language that i actually want we have something that is ex scale power boosting and then shooting boosting as well or shooting power boosting so gonna be using that and then gonna be selecting this portrait and then pretty much done at that point so i can go ahead and move right over to the arm section so let's see what we have in terms of the arm section um, I think the first portrait or the first part with those portrait is definitely something that I am going to be taking. So we have something uh, above EX skill effects up by 35%. As I mentioned earlier, these portraits significantly boost your damage output when you guys are using the proper EX skill that has those attack buffers. So that is why I'm going to be using that one. And then we also do get paired up with the EX skill power boosting as well. So why not? We're going to be using this one and then. Uh, since this one is a small scale, so 1 to 1, 44 scale, um, what I want to essentially do is trying to see if I can find anything that's big scale for a say, and it looks like we do. So, big scale there, so we're getting a scale difference right there, and then one active war tag uh, is a 10%, and then the portrait level difference as well. So, in total, we're getting a 30.5%, so this one is a very good match right there, so bam. Um, in terms of this one, I am not going to be using that portrait because I'm just going to be using this one. This one is just way too good not to use, right? Up next, uh, this is probably going to be a prime example to show you guys the power of the big skill. So we have something, I'm going to be using the tech quibbly right here once again. So this one is a very good, powerful uh, leg pieces right there. Uh, this one is giving me a whopping 80% to shooting power boosting. So why not, right? Let me use this one right there. Um, and then in terms of the sub slot, um, kind of keep that in mind, I am going to be finding the best sub slot here. So in terms of what we are looking at, we are looking at the tech quibbly leg once again so yes maybe ask me how am i able to get the scale differences like all those kind of shebangs here uh because this one is actually just the same part that we have for the actual main part uh the only difference this one if we look at this one is actually not all treated so a part that is not all treated would not be big scale anyway so this one i can still benefit quote unquote you know having it the big scale and then the normal scale kind of um scale difference over here and kind of keep that in mind they are technically the same part so essentially i'm still getting that um the same part scaling there so uh this is pretty much a good cheesy way for you guys to just kind of get the maximum sub slot stat uh, which i'm going to be doing here so this one i'm getting up to a 50.5 percent so this one is just honestly pretty good so okay so that part is done so let's move on to the back part now so in terms of the back part i'm pretty much going to be doing the same thing once again uh because i do have something of this caliber so i'm going to be using this one right here so in terms of the back part we are using the wing zero here so we're going to be doing that and then 
we are pretty much going to be doing the same thing for the subsonic. Um, I do actually have an, another identical part that is not um, alterated into a big scale. So we're going to be doing this right here, bam. And then we just get a non-conditional um, scale differences and the same part scaling as well. So this one up to a 50.5% after subsetting. So I think for the remainder, I'm just going to build this out myself and then show you guys um, how to actually fix those work tab because uh, if I just keep talking like that, um, this video is, is going to be long. So um, we'll be right back as I do fill out the remaining part and then just kind of do some work tab fixes, um, some tag issues because at the end of the day, I know this build does have some um, tag issue to be addressing. So we'll be right back. Um, if we take a quick look at our overall work tag management, you guys will see that I only have one commander active. So in terms of fixing that, I'll definitely see, say that in terms of my sub side or even the actual main part itself. Um, you guys can see why am I able to get a, you know, an additional um, kind of work tag up here. So in a uh, long story short, I will say anything that has a alternative attribute and then seven star will have the opportunity to get uh, whatever word tag is on the um, alternative attribute. So that was something that they have implemented once we when we got the seven star parts. So um, that's pretty much the only explanation for you guys up here. So right there, I'm going to be getting commander right there. Up next, uh, we are looking at the Kubli and then the Hakashiki. So this one is going to be the same situation because Kubli is also a unit that has a alternative, alternative attribute. And this one is a separate sub part. So that's why I am able to access the older version Kubli war tag as well. So in that case, I'll just actually do, do this one over here. And then now we are up to three um, commander war tags. So up next, I guess uh, we can go over to what else can we actually do here? Um, I think I can actually go ahead and come down here. So, okay. So in terms of the actual pilot, so since there's no seven star for any of the AI pilot, and I don't think, I don't think they'll actually we do like the same, you know, quote unquote, like the actual same pilot anymore. So I think this is as, as good as we can get. So we're going to get commander right there and then bam. So I think the last slot is actually the arm part, right? Yep. Um, the O is actually going to be another great example as well. So since the O does actually have another alternative attribute and that one is a, this one itself is a seven star part. So now I can just kind of get the remaining command attack and then we are done. So that is a pretty much it in terms of getting everything activated and just kind of, you know, more or less how to filter out um, to get some, you know, other additional war tech here. Uh, I think the best part about subsetting or just anything else is the fact that you can actually mix and match what kind of war tech you, or you guys are looking at. Um, I think that is, you know, the sole power of how important subsetting is. Um, not only does it provide you some pretty good stat overall, but it also does allow you to just kind of get different war techs that you normally cannot get on your main build or in, in some cases in there, for example, like this one, um, since the, the lighting, what is it? The lightning state over here for say um, has an EX skill since what we do not want is an EX skill on the actual main build. So we just want to subslot something that has a good part trait. So, you know, essentially subsliding is a very, very powerful effects that allows you, you know, get some um, good part trait. If your main part does not have it already, um, get some pretty good stat and just have some pretty good opportunities. You just get different war tech that you might need for your overall build. So um, as the last portion of it, let me do kind of quickly talk about, um, you know, the overall build and skin. Um, skin is going to be something that you guys will probably be hearing a lot from me or even, even just anyone that is, you know, uh, has been playing for a good while when uh, this is uh, going to break a mobile game. Uh, just because in terms of subslot, it, it leave it any you know any like um, opportunity to actually put your uh, like use ex like this over here because of what you will see people do is that like, if they don't use skin typically they will need to uh, sacrifice their actual portrait slot to kind of put in the ex skill here so this is probably what you will see from player anyway so let me see if i can actually get some more um let's say ex skill in here i don't think i can do that but um generally speaking this is what you will see people do so they have, they will have like a janky build that looks, you know, ridiculous. Just because of the fact that, um, in terms of my build specifically, it looks janky <laughs> right here. Uh, just because all these parts are, you know, supposedly made apart. Um, but if you apply a skin, if you apply a skin, uh, you will actually be able to access any EX skill that you can actually use for say. So let me see if I can pick something that is a shooting base specifically. Um, let me use this one for example. Um, so if you guys seen this very right here, uh, you guys know that I've been running a lot of you know multi mission. Uh, so that this is gonna be you know a skin right here. So essentially, 
So with a skin, you can easily, alleviate any problem with actually on your actual main build here to get Vortex or, or, or EXU, sorry. Um, so essentially what you can like, you know how I select this one as an yeah, actual EXU. So once you apply a skin on top of your actual build, uh, you are no longer being able to select your EX skill because everything is actually within the skin. So um, in, in terms of changing EX skill for say, you will definitely have to access the skin again and then we, we replace something else. So um, this is a very effective way to just get a lot of good uh, portrait here. So you guys can see that I have up to 18 portraits. So normally speaking, if what people don't do, like if people don't use skin for say, uh, I will say their maximum portrait, depending on if they have alteration, for example, is uh, going to be 12 only because they have sacrificed a lot of slot to put in their EX skill. And that is just not an effective way to build the build with whatever we have um, offered to us. So um, yeah, so I think that's pretty much all I do want to cover in terms of the skin aspect. Uh, for the last little bit of it, I do want to quickly build. So in terms of the gear, it's definitely going to be another effective way to uh, allow you to drastically, you know, approve what I, whatever um, stat you guys are looking at. So if you guys do want to know how to actually get all these gear, for example, I do have videos under my how to guide in terms of getting these. Here. So simply, I'm just going to um, be applying them right now. So you guys can see what kind of drastic change we look at. So right now, applying that uh, five star shot gear, we are looking at up to a hundred and twenty four thousand shot attacks. So that's good. And then up next, uh, we are going to be applying the chain shot gear. So this one is pretty much going to be getting 40% uh, of my actual, not going to be this inflated one. So it's going to be actually the non-inflated with the actual vortex. So whatever is on the actual base, uh, we are getting 40% of the shot defense and then applying that to my shot attack. So um, I would definitely say in terms of the shot gear is probably one of the most important ones to be looking at or just because of the fact that you do get a immense race up to that. So that's going to be the one we're using. So now we roughly jump up to, you know, Probably about 40k, so that's that's actually substantial if I will have to say. So this one now we're up to 160,000. So up next, uh, we should be looking over at the actual job gear here. So this one is going to be the AI gear, however you want to call it. So this time around, we are going to be looking at the middle shooter because that's the actual job lenses that I actually have, have selected myself. Um, the highest one we can go up to is going to be the four star variant, and this one, this race, uh, you know. This one is a flat stat going up, so this one is um, up to 2,000. But um, I, I think the most important part to take uh, into consideration is the fact that you can actually use your job gauge um, immediately. So this one is up to 19% or 90%, and then if you apply the actual frame gear, um, it's gonna be the frame upgrade. So instantly apply 15% to the 19%, um, you're up to uh, way way over 100 percent so um you can instantly activate your limit break which allows you just hit harder so that's that's good so um up next uh, we are going to be looking at the actual job or the actual war tech here so we're going to be using commander because commander is probably one of the ones that allows you get the highest in terms of the actual shot base gear or the the shot base war tech here so this one is probably the most important one to look at so this one roughly this uh let me see so this one does jumps up by a substantial amount as well. So um, I'll definitely have to say the change gear, definitely another uh, like change gear. And then the actual war tech gear is probably the most two important one that you guys should be focusing upon. Um, I know that in terms of actually farming out and getting it, it is definitely going to take time. But um, do you kind of, you know, I guess kind of get that in the back of your mind to just kind of pay attention to because they will allow you to just gain massive stats. So um, next up, uh, we are going to be applying the actual attribute gear. Here. Um, but unfortunately, um, I was planning to get the actual uh, shot version of this one when I made it back then. But uh, the game decided to bug out and uh, gave me the melee version. Um, I believe they actually did address this portion a bit, but I never got refunded for the actual shot base of it. So um, I don't know. But um, this is so since this one actually does race melee only, but if we do take a look at the overall, you know, uh, effects over here. So it says when uh, equipped it to a um, SHB Gunpla, it doesn't say melee specifically or or whatever whatsoever. So I can still benefit from this. Um, it's just the fact that I'm not going to be 
getting the actual uh, flat stack, which is the spline. Um, the most important part that we want to pay attention to is actually the percentage raised by 20% to p attributes so um, that's pretty much the main most important way so uh, if you guys make one or the other you can still use it in any year build no problem just because the most important language is looking at these over here and it's just this one i'm not going to be able to benefit from which is fine it's only 2000 you know I, I, i'm cool with that but if i were able to equip this one for say that is actually actually for the shot uh this one should push me you know maybe a little bit over uh 203,000 in a way but uh we're still gonna be, be equipping that because that is just you know very important in a way and last but not least you just kind of cover is actually some of the um what is it the custom ability i do have a separate video talking about these specifically so um i'm just gonna be quickly you know glassing at them right now uh if you guys do want a full in-depth of it i do have it in the how to guide so i'm gonna take note on that as well um, all right, so in terms of these one over here, we do have a plethora of, you know, good selection, but the most important one is definitely going to be some of the more power boosting, you know, um, uh, custom ability. So kind of keep that in mind, they are only going to be applicable during the limber break, you know, um, phase per se. So that's why it is a very, very important for you guys to be getting, you know, at least, you know, if you guys are not able to get the four star version, at least trying to get the three star version, because just having that limit break active does allow you to gain so much more power in a way, uh, because you guys are able to take into the effects of these one as well. So, um, but yeah, I think that is pretty much what I do want to cover in terms of the overall build. Um, let me see, I do have a triangle here for whatever reason. Um, I don't know, is it, hmm, what went wrong? Oh, this one, okay. I selected the wrong gear, so that's why. Um, I selected the actual tech or the speed to P. Um, I should be selecting the T to S, so that is why. So now, in terms of the overall build, this is uh, complete. We, we, we are done. So um, in terms of pretty much like, this is how you, you know, um, just kind of correctly build a build, or just you can kind of call it how to uh, properly build a shooting build out here. Uh, in terms of all these parts over here, I'm using a seven star part, but if you guys don't have any of these seven star part, um, I would definitely tell you guys, um, the most important part is definitely going to be the vortex so definitely do focus up on those and i think that's going to be pretty much it and then if you guys do have any other additional question you guys can definitely leave it down in the comment section below but with that being said that is going to be pretty much it in terms of how to properly build a shooting build here